Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back. So today I want to talk about how to set up the Antminer S9 and get it connected to a mining pool so that you could start earning some Bitcoin. Now, uh, before I get into that, I just want to talk about something real quick. Uh, so a lot of people are writing tons of comments. I'm getting back to as many people as I can. I'm getting tons of private messages on YouTube. I'm getting messages on Twitter. I'm getting messages on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so it's kind of crazy bouncing around between all these different social platforms but I'm not complaining I just thought it would be a better idea to create this central sort of location on Facebook a Facebook group so I want to kind of test this out and see how many people would be interested in joining that group which I did create and the link is down in the description I don't know uh, you know where that's gonna head in the few in the next few weeks or not but I feel like if we get everybody in one place and talking about this whole thing it's gonna be a lot easier and I don't know everything I'm sure there's people that know a lot more than I do uh, but I think if we all put our minds together in this one place then uh, it's gonna be a lot better possibly so it's not just a one in one one-on-one -on -one conversation with me and you but it's uh, you know interlinked with everybody in this one central location. So like I said, link it down in the description and let's get into this Antminer S9 setup guide. So first things first, you're obviously going to need the Antminer S9 and you're going to need a power supply. Where you get the Antminer S9 is irrelevant because they're really hard to get right now. So if you do have one, this is going to help you. If you do plan on getting one, you'll need to do some research on how to get one. Like I said, they're really difficult to get. Now there's two different choices for power supplies. If you live in the United States, it's a little bit different. You can't, well, technically you can can use the official Bitmain power supply. It's a 220 volt power supply, so not everybody in the US is wired for that. So I recommend using this EVGA 1600 watt uh, G2 power supply, and it's a 110 power supply and it is compatible with the Antminer S9. And that's the one that I use. And my Antminer has been running for two weeks straight and no issues. So the power supply is great. So links are down in the description if you're, you know, if you haven't gotten one and you want to get into this. Uh, so let me go over how to connect the power supply to the Antminer S9. So before I show you that, I just want to let you know that the outlet that you plug the power supply into should be at least 15 amps. If you can have it be 20 amps, that's going to be a lot better. I'm running on 15 amps. Like I said, no issues, uh, no problems. So it's still running. Uh, but yeah, better be better to be safe than sorry. Plug it into 20 amps. Uh, but yeah, so let's show you how to connect this all up. So yeah, this is the power supply, EVGA 1600 watt G2. Let me just show you these connectors here. So this is the motherboard connector. You need to have this plugged in and it comes with this end cap, end cap to terminate that. Uh, if you don't have that, I believe the amp miner will not turn on because uh, this power supply requires a motherboard to be connected. So this sort of tricks it to think that the motherboard is connected. This is all included, it comes with the power supply. Now, let me just show you here uh, real close. So you notice there it says VGA1. The one below that is VGA2 and then three. Then across from that you have four and then below that five, six, and then seven, eight, and nine. So VGA1, two, three go into one hash board. Four, five, six goes into another and seven, eight, nine goes into another. Let me show you what that looks like. Yeah, this is the uh, cooler setup. Uh, I did a video on it if you wanna check it out. It's right up there. Uh, let's open this up real quick. So remember I said, might be too loud, but remember I said VGA123 is gonna go into one hash board. So this is one hash board, this is the second, and this is the third. After you get those connected, you wanna also connect up the uh, controller board here. I'm actually using a split from the hash board to use this cable because I didn't have enough and it works fine. The other important thing is the ethernet cable. So yeah, plug that in. Now, once you're all plugged in, the power supply has a power switch, which is right here. A little blurry, but yeah, 
flip that on. And this power supply does have an eco mode and by default it's, it's on. So it's possibly using less watts. I still have not gotten a kilowatt meter so I don't know exactly how much watts it's using but it's using anywhere between 1350 watts and 500 something watts. Eventually I'm gonna get that. Um, sorry that I didn't get that yet, but eventually I will. So ethernet cable is gonna go into your modem or into your router or into your switch. The Antminer S9 works off of DHCP, so it'll automatically get an IP address once you connect it into your network. Once you boot on the Antminer S9, it takes about five to 10 minutes to start uh, mining. So uh, when you do receive your ant miner, it's already going to be configured or pre-configured with uh, three mining pools. So as soon as you plug it in, it's going to start mining. Not for you, but the creators of the ant miner. So uh, you definitely want to go in and change those settings so that you get the Bitcoin and they do not get the Bitcoin. So I'm going to show you how to configure that Actually, before we go into that, uh, there's one more thing. You need to know the IP address of the Antminer S9. So like I said, it uses DHCP, so it automatically gets an IP address from your, uh, your modem. So uh, one way to do this is to use this software. It's called uh, Advanced IP Scanner. What it's gonna do is gonna scan your network for all the devices. Uh, but let me just say one thing. Before you go and install that, try this. Just go to Google Chrome or your browser and just type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash ant miner. If your ant miner has been on for at least five to 10 minutes, it should technically connect to it. Uh, but if not, get this software. It's called Advanced IP Scanner. It's, like I said, it's gonna scan your network. I'll show you how it works and it'll give you an IP address of the ant miner. So yeah, this is the software. Just load it up and just press scan. And it's gonna take like maybe a minute and it'll show you all the devices. So I let it run here and you see you got Amp Miner and the IP address is 192.168.1.216. So now if we go to a browser and type that in, so yeah, 192.168.2.16 and the username and password is root. You can change this if you want. Uh, and it's gonna take you to the screen. So once your Amp Miner has been up for at least five to 10 minutes, all these fields here are gonna be populated. Uh, when you first turn it on and access this, some of these fields are gonna be empty, but you know it's up and running and working once all this stuff gets filled out. So now what you wanna do is go to the minor configuration tab and it's gonna open this. So if you're just starting it up, you're probably gonna have all this stuff populated with information. Go ahead and delete everything, delete everything, and delete everything. Um, and we're gonna go to slush pool to get this information so that you can start uh, mining your Bitcoin. So this part is up to you, depending on which mining pool that you wanna use. I can, I, you know, I would recommend using slush pool. I've been using it for two weeks and I think the payouts have been uh, more than what I was expecting. So uh, if you don't wanna use slush pool, you don't need to use it, but I'm gonna do this example with slush pool so that, you know, you could follow along if that's what you wanna join. So let's go to slush pool, get the information so we could copy and paste it into this minor configuration. So yeah, this is the website. It's called slushpool.com. Go ahead and make an account on here. And once you make your account, you wanna go to uh, workers. And then within workers, you might have a default one, you might not. Uh, but if you don't have one, what you wanna do is just click on new worker, which is here. When you click that, uh, you just wanna give your worker a name right here. Um, let's just say it's Jeremy. And then at the top right over here, it's gonna give you a, a login address. So basically your login address is gonna be the username that you created on Slush Pool and then dot the worker name. So if your username is Jeremy and then your worker name is uh, Antminer, <laughs> It would your login would be Jeremy dot Antminer. So that's your login information. Now that we have the login information set, we can go to get the actual address of the pool so that we can paste that into the Antminer. <coughs> so what you want to do is go to the help center and then you want to go to getting started and then getting started with Bitcoin. And now here is, it just depends on where you live. I live in the United States, so I would copy this address here. If you're in Europe, obviously this. So basically just copy this address and then go back to 
the ant miner. Yeah, so in the ant miner, that's the URL of the pool. And then you would put that there. And then here you would put your login. So like I said, it would be like jeremy.antminer, whatever it tells you to put. Password there. You can leave that blank. Slush pool doesn't require a password. Once you uh, have that all set and it looks correct, go down here and then click save and apply. And after you do that, the ant miner is sort of gonna prepare itself to start mining. So that is gonna take about five minutes, five to 10 minutes, somewhere around there to actually start mining in slush pool. And one way to verify that, or two ways to verify that it's actually working is to do this. So you would go back to system and like within five to 10 minutes, all these fields should be populated and then you know that it's actually hashing. Another thing you could do is go to miner status and then here you'll see that you know you'll have a hash rate and it's uh, you know about close to 14 tera hashes can't focus here and then another thing you could look at is you know your temperatures and all that stuff so I'm at 71 65 72 so there's three boards so that's why there's a bunch of number uh, different numbers for the temperatures and then you also want to make sure that all these are zeros if you ever get an X or a dash or something other than a zero that means one of the hash boards are busted. So once your ant miner is hashing, it's going, you're going to need to wait about an hour before slush pool brings your total hash rate up to about 14 terahashes. It takes a little while for it to ramp up. This is why you don't never want to turn it off or get any power outages because it takes a long time to get your hash rate right back up. So if your hash rate isn't at its full potential, you're earning less uh, Bitcoin because it's not you know, working at its full potential. So you will be seeing, so once your uh, ant miner has been running for about an hour, you should be seeing a number close to this, maybe a little bit less. Sometimes I've seen 15 and a half, which is awesome. Um, and then you'll get like some information here, like your five minute average for the hour, for the day. Um, and then over here, you're gonna see your earnings. So uh, confirmed earnings, that's what I have. Unconfirmed, this still needs to verify through the blockchain. Once that gets added to this, I will be getting a payment today. I'm almost at 100%. Once this, hit, once this hits 0 0.02, I will get a payment. So uh, yeah. Now within slush pool, you're also going to want to add a wallet address so that you can get paid. The minimum payout is 0.02 bitcoins. Um, they don't take a fee to send that to you, which is pretty cool. Um, however, for each block that is found throughout the day, they do take a 2% fee from, uh, you know, using their pool, uh, which is a little high, but it's not bad. Like I'm averaging about 0.00. .00 to five to 0.004 Bitcoin per day, depending on how lucky the pool is. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, and you can expect a payout of 0 0.02 about every week. So every seven days. Uh, so every seven days you're making a little over 300 bucks at the current Bitcoin price. So I've been running my ant miner for about 13 and a half days and within that period, I've earned approximately 0 0.04 Bitcoin. So if you look here, so I've earned about that much within 13 and a half days, and it's equivalent to $679.30. So if we take that $679 divided by 13.5 days, that gives me an average of about $50.31 per day. And if we multiply that by 30, I'm gonna get $1,509 a month with an Antminer S9. Keep in mind, Bitcoin price goes down, you're gonna earn less. Bitcoin price goes up, you're gonna earn more. The Bitcoin difficulty goes up, you're gonna earn a little bit less. Um, so pre, like a few days ago, the Bitcoin you know difficulty has gone up 18%, but I don't think I've been hit with that. I'm still earning more than what I was when I first started. Like I was averaging $25 a day, but because the Bitcoin price went up, now I'm averaging double, $50 a day. Uh, but like I said, this is not guaranteed. We don't know what's gonna happen with this whole Bitcoin thing, uh, but hopefully it continues to go up and this stuff is gonna remain profitable. But I hope I covered everything. I'm sure I might have left out a few little details, but maybe we can chat about that in the Facebook group. And I don't wanna like, um, 
tell people to just go there to write comments or uh, you know not write comments on the videos like I'm still gonna reply to people obviously on the YouTube comments here on this channel uh, but as a secondary place maybe we can all come together there and talk about some cool stuff uh, but yeah that's it I uh, hope you guys found this helpful uh, like I said any other comments or questions leave them down below and I will check you out in my next video bye